Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our steam locomotive. As you guys can see right here, last time we added a tender, I think this looks awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the wheels back on the front to look like they used to, and I'm gonna do the same on the back too, because honestly, um, I prefer the old ones over these ones, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're also gonna try and put a little bit of a decoration on here, and also a decal on here as well. Hopefully, we can actually do that. Okie dokie, so first things first then, let's go ahead and have a little look at this. Uh, I know that there is an issue on the other side, one of these is green, and I don't know how I managed to leave that green, but there you go. So now we fixed that, we need to figure out the rest of the stuff. Okay, so, uh, what we want to do then is try and design something that will fit directly in here, and, uh, I think we're gonna use a block website that we can download and send to the game, uh, in order to actually do this. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so, I've gone ahead and done something, let's go ahead and see if it has actually worked. So, save this as it is, there we go, because the only thing we've actually changed is the color on the other side. Let's go ahead and open this up. And we'll load up loco number. That looks awful. <laughs> that looks really bad. What the? What in the world? Okay, there we go. That is a little bit better, I suppose. So now what we need to do is uh, try and figure out what we actually need with this. We don't need that on the top. We do need the bottom side. That's okay. Uh, and we need to try and figure out exactly what each of these are. So let's go ahead and do one. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and black off the outside bit of that. We're gonna go ahead and do another one. There we go, excellent. Go ahead and do this one as well. Uh, a zero, I don't know how I wanted to go about doing that, but maybe like this, and like this, and like this, there we go. And then three, do, oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, not all of that. What have I done there? Alt, no. Uh, all right, there we go. Okay, do this, and this, and there we go, awesome. Do this guy, this guy, and these guys. There we go. All right, is that gonna work? I think that'll work. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the actual locomotive itself. I don't think that looks very good, so we're gonna go ahead and change it a little bit more. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna do it ourselves because uh, I haven't managed to figure out what I want from the other thing, so we're gonna leave this like this. I'm sure it's fine anyway. So go ahead and paint all of these in, just like so. Do all of these guys and keep it going. Hopefully this is fine. I'm sure it is. Uh, Bosch that into there. All of these guys. Here we go. It's very... Um, it's very annoying doing all this, but it's fine. So there we go. Right. Now we need an actual box that is going to be made of this color right here. So we're going to go across um, from the top. Actually, we're going to be down like one. There we go. We're going to go all the way across the top end. All the way to about there. That's fine. Go to the other side as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. Do one. And two. There we go. Okay. Leave it like that. That's fine. Um, like this. I think that's right. Okay. And then down, and then all the way down to the bottom. Although, actually, it probably only goes down to around there. Then we bring it sideways, inwards, sideways, and then across. Okay. I think that's right. I I'm almost 100% sure. We're then going to drag this guy down. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Um, all the way to here, then sideways, then sideways, then sideways, then sideways, then down. Yes, okay. So, if we spawn this in, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's going to be about the right size. Cool. Okie dokie, so the inside of this is going to be black, or, or at least greyish, and then the numbers themselves are actually going to be white. So I'm going to go ahead and paint all this in real quickly, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, so there we go, I've painted all the inside grey, and that actually doesn't look too bad. Now, I want to fit four numbers in here, so we got this one, uh, this one, this one, and this one, and uh, we're going to do it the same way we previously had it. So, um, the first number is going to go centrally in here, there we go. Uh, we're gonna go across the top and that is gonna be a one. Is that actually okay being a one like this? There we go. Okay, so one uh, Then a one <laughs> That's the next thing uh, Oh, not that many just one there we go one Okay one and then a what was it gonna be as a zero three? I think it's supposed to be zero three so we go across one two three we go up We go sideways we go back down and that is that's quite an ugly zero, but it works. And then a three is just one, two, three. Bring this all the way down to the bottom. One, two. And then like that. Is that an ugliest? That's the ugliest three I've ever seen. That <laughs> That is a very ugly three. But sure, let's spawn this in to what it looks like. Yeah, 
I think that works. For what we need it for, I think that's fine. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually grab this entire thing. So from there all the way down to there, I believe. Go ahead and copy it. Press U, take it over to the other side, and uh, we need to paste it there. However, it'll all be wrong. So we actually need to press U again. Then we need to turn it around, move it over one, paste it back in. And now we've got the right number in the right place, and that is fine. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to do was actually take the Frantic Freight logo, which is this one right here, and slap it on the side. Unfortunately, it's a bit big. So we're going to have this one on the tender, and we're going to have this one on the side of the locomotive, because I think that'd be really cool. So let's go ahead and grab this all the way down to there, go ahead and copy it, and we'll put it on our locomotive. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and slap it in right here, that seems fine. Let's go ahead and merge that together as well, and uh, then we got to go ahead and change all the colours from the blue to the red. Hey, there we go. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad there. I don't mind that. So now, we're going to go ahead and take this guy. We're going to go ahead and copy it. We're going to press U. We're going to take it over to the other side. Actually, pressing U is not right. Turn it around. There we go. Paste it in like this. Merge this with this. And that should be fine. We now just need to paint the insides of this. Uh, like this. And like this. And like that. And like that. There we go. Okay, cool. What does that actually look like? Do -do -do. Yeah, I like it. That's kind of cool. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is actually work on both sides of this. There we go. We're going to delete this guy, this guy, and this guy. There we go. And I might actually just replace it with... I don't know whether this is right, but essentially one of these. There you go. Um, I feel like that looks a little bit strange, though, so maybe we won't. But I think I will. I honestly think that'll be fine. There we go. The back of it could be that color. Um, and yeah, we'll leave it like that. Alright, so while we're at it, let's go ahead and uh, do something special. Special! Uh, we're going to go backwards to this one. And we're going to go ahead and copy the wheels off the front. And we're going to put them on the other train. So grab that one and that one. Go ahead and copy them. We're then going to load up our new one. Do -do 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 -do. There it is. And we're going to replace these wheels with those wheels. Paste. Merge. And that will be fine. Bosh. There we go. Delete these guys. And delete these guys, and that should be okay. Good. We're then going to do the same thing with the back ones, and that'll be okay too. Oh yeah, that looks way better. That actually looks way better with these guys. Clearly you don't really want these on there, but um, other than that, they're actually really, really cool. I like them. I really do. Anyway, the next thing that I want to do is go to the tender and figure out something with that. But first, we're going to need this. We are actually going to need this. So grab that from there, all the way down to here. Go ahead and copy them. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the side of our tender. Because I think it's going to make it look better uh, than it currently does. So that is what I want. Uh, and I don't know where to put it. I kind of feel like putting it in line. Uh, so we will. There we go. We'll actually put it in line. Paste it right there. Cool. Turn it around. Move it over. Bring it to the other side. And do the same thing. All right. Paste it there. Merge this with this. Merge this with this. And change the colors. Let's go. So, um, change that to red, all of this is going to be red, and then it will be A-OK. -okay. Nice! Alright, is everybody ready for this? Uh, let's go! Yeah! Okay, it's a bit weird that we've uh, inter interlocked it with the line, but I actually think that looks okay. I might box it off, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I might leave it just like that. I might also actually do the gold line around the outside too, and yeah, I think that's a good idea. We'll, we'll do the gold line down, we'll do the gold line sideways, and then back up there. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Okay, so I've done it on one side. Hopefully this is okay. So uh, now all we need to do is merge this with this, this with this, that with that, that with that. There we go. And all the way down to the end. There we go. Fantastic. We're then going to have to interlock these. So that's going to go into there just like so. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. There we go. Nice. We're going to go ahead and interlock these guys as well and get rid of this guy. Nice. Do the same thing right here. Go away. And attach. There we go. And then finally, this bit up here is going to attach on too. Get rid of all this. There we go. And uh, let's see what that looks like on one side to begin with. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. It is actually making me feel like the logo should maybe go in the middle of it though, instead of actually there. But I, I kind of like it being interlocked with it. It's kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit different, I suppose. So we're going to leave it like this. Okie dokie, so I've done it on both sides. We've now got that symbol there, and we've got the symbol on the other side too, and I think that looks pretty cool. We're also going to get rid of the buffers real quick between the car, uh, between the tender and the actual locomotive itself, uh, because we don't really need it there. We need them on the back though, so we'll leave them there. Um, but yeah, I like this. Let's go and attach them together and see what they look like. Oh yeah, that actually looks way better. 
That does actually look way, way, way better. I think the locomotive itself actually looks pretty good like that. Um, this, I might have to change. I don't know whether I like it, because it's a bit odd, the logo being there rather than in the middle of this. Um, it's very strange. Or what we could do is actually have this line go up there, go all the way across and then come back down and then leave the logo where it is. Um, in fact, let's do that on the other side and we'll see which one we prefer. Okay, so we got this on this side, and I think that looks okay. We then go to the other side, and I've got this, which I think probably actually does look better. I've done the design around this that looks a little bit nicer as well. I, I think I'm going to go with this one. However, I do feel like it looks a little bit plain, so we might have to add some other stuff to this in the future as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and use that side. Um, and if you guys do prefer this side, we can come back to it. Uh, but no, I think this side is nicer. Okay, so I'm happy with this. Uh, if you guys are happy with this too, then we can actually leave it like that. Honestly, uh, I haven't really done too much in today's video, but I've done enough to make it change and uh, to make it look way better. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with this. Uh, what we're going to do in the future is try and decorate the inside of the cab a little bit more. Uh, we're also going to try and make the tender look a little bit nicer because at the minute it looks a little bit strange. And we're going to go from there. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.